Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman Challenge with KR Reykjavik. And the last in the last episode we I brought you a 3-1 defeat in the Upper League Cup Group A against Grindavik. Since then we've played quite a few games. So we'll just get into them. We've played a few friendlies and a few Upper League Cup games. So the first game was a friendly against Einherji, who are a lower league Icelandic team. We managed to beat them 2-0. Dennis Hoda and Bjorn Thorlaxen getting the goals there. Uh, you can see it's quite a quite a close game, disappointingly. Obviously, we should be thrashing teams like this. Look at the temperature as well. I only just realised that minus 3 degrees light snow. I guess that's what you get in Iceland. But um, we had a better shot accuracy than them. Just edged on possession as well. But we got a win, which is always nice and a friendly. Then we came back to competitive football. Use that term loosely for this competition. And it was a 3-2 defeat against HK in our second game in the Upper League Cup. We were 2-0 up, so it's even more disappointing. And the fact that we created so many chances, so many shots, but our accuracy was just awful. We had more possession as well. So we were 2-0 up thanks to Finn Bogerson and Lubicic. But then HK mounted the comeback, managed to turn it around 3-2 with two good Johnson goals and an Uchichi goal. Next up was another Upper League Cup game. One we managed to win against Fjolnir. We managed to beat Fjolnir 2-1. We went. We did go 2-0 up thanks to Lubicic and Finn Bogerson again. And then Atlason brought it back to 2-1, but we managed to to hold off Fjolnir. They did did get quite a few uh, shots shots in, quite a few chances made by them in the last 30 minutes of the game, but we held them off and managed to win 2-1. Next up was... This is difficult. Like near... Like near like near Fast Cruz 30. I can't even say it. I think I might have said it right first time. Uh, from Bogerson opening the scoring for us after a minute, but we couldn't keep the lead and Kiesel equalised for Like near. You can see we, we created more shots and our possession was higher there as well. We're just not getting the goals in, really. That's the issue that we had. Then we played Like near Reykjavik in a Reykjavik derby match. And we lost 1-0 thanks to an Ivar Ingi Johansson goal. Again, quite even on the, the shots and the possession. Quite even on everything, really. Which is a good sign, because I think Lagnia finished near the top of the table last season. If my memory serves me correctly. And then this next game was just... This was an absolute goal fest. So it ended up 3-3. I can't actually remember who took the lead in this one. But you can see we both scored on the fifth minute. So Finn Bogerson getting the goal for us and Elias and getting the goal for IBV. And then IBV took the lead. They took a 2-1 lead, thanks to Gunnarsson. We equalised with Lubicic, so it was 2-2. Then Gunnarsson put them back in the lead and we scored the equaliser in the fourth minute of stoppage time to, to manage to grab the point. You can see maybe IBV deserved it a bit more on the stats, but it was an end-to-end -end game. Next up, because we only had one Upper League Cup match remaining and there was quite a was quite, quite a big break coming up as well and there was a, there was a week's, two weeks break between the last Upper League Cup game and the, the final one. We'd already been guaranteed that we weren't going to qualify for it. So we had a friendly against a team called Arborg who are a much smaller team than KR and as you can see we absolutely trounced them. Finn Bogerson getting four goals, Camacho getting one, Lubacic getting a brace. And we, we had 22 shots, 12 on target, 62% of the possession. I'd love it if we could recreate that against some of the better teams, but we haven't managed to do that so far. Then was the final Upper League Cup group game, and it was against Bolingarvik, and we lost 1-0 thanks to a very late goal from them. You can see we created more chances in the game, but we just couldn't we couldn't find that cutting edge. And they went up and scored with just over five minutes remaining. Obviously, it wasn't a very important game because we were already out of the competition. Would have been nice to get another win on the board, though. 
Next up was another friendly game against Arman, and they are, again, much lower down the, the Icelandic divisions than us. We managed to beat them 3 1. How could Bald Vincent get himself a hat trick? And you can see we created lots of chances, but really, these games don't mean anything apart from keeping the, the, the lads' fitness up, really, because they are just so much worse than us, and we should be beating them by a hefty margin. And next up was a match against Alethi. I think that's how you say it. Um, Finn Bogerson getting our two goals created more chances. Only just, and we weren't that good in possession. So probably not a not a great game for us there. And the final game that we played was against a team called Gnup, Gnup Vajar. And we managed to win it 2-0. Created a lot more chances than the previous game. And we, we were ahead on possession also. Anderson and Toth getting the goals. Alex Freya Hilmarsen picked up an injury, strained ankle ligaments, and he's going to be out for f another four to five weeks. He is he is becoming a, a really good player for us, actually. I got a little item in the, the backroom advice when I was chatting to my staff, and it said that he's, his um, ability has improved. So he's now a leading Premier Division. I think that's what it said. Just have a look. He's a leading player for most Premier Division sides. He's got potential to be a star Premier Division attacking midfielder in the future. So things looking up for him. Also, I had a few offers from Swedish teams for Finn Bogerson. Rejected them all outright. First of all, they weren't even matching his asking price. And second of all, we're not selling him for any price whatsoever. I'm done with selling players. We need to just retain the ones that we've got unless the players become unhappy. And Finn Bogerson wasn't unhappy. And I, in fact, signed him to a professional deal because he was only on a youth contract. I've signed him to a professional deal now. So he should be with us for the future. So the match today is the Crean Derby against Throttleflag Akroness. So that's the name that they gave it in the news item. I'm not actually sure what the Crean Derby is. If you know, you could let me know in the comments below. But of course, this is the first game of the Icelandic Premier Division, and it falls midweek. It falls on a Tuesday, which is quite strange. I just remembered. You may see your name in there that you've not re not really seen ever. Antoni Molina, goalkeeper, was a position that we were drastically lacking any talent in. We had potential ability in, but not current ability. Um, yes, I do go by the star ratings. So I have signed Antoni Molina, who is a Croatian goalkeeper, who is way better than our, the current ability of our current goalkeepers. Signed him for £24,500. Money ain't no thing to KR Reykjavik. And as you can see, he looks like a, a pretty, pretty canny signing. Handling's 11, 12, kick in, reflexes 13. So hopefully he can do the job for us in goal and maybe help help the defence be a little, le little bit less leaky. Oh, the goalkeeper needs a number. He can get the number one. Brilliant stuff. So as you can see, Throttle Flag, Akroness are the favourites for this one. Who's their key man? Arnie Snyder Olafsson. He's the, their goalkeeper. Is their key man. It's a bit, a bit of an odd one. You can see he is a pretty good player. And then our key man is Finn Bogerson, of course. The 18-year-old striker that we just, as I said, signed to a new deal. The absence of Alex Frey Helmerson, yes. Would it be nice to have him? I hate these tunnel interviews. We know these matches can often result in savory scenes and controversial incidents. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay, so formation I've been playing is a 4-2-3-1. And I've found this is getting us to create a lot more chances than my previous formations that I have tried. So hopefully we can get off to a winning start try and get our first Icelandic Premier Division title since 2012 and the first league of my career. Just ask Good Johnson to take the team talks. Didn't really do a good job. 
And away we go for the first game of the Icelandic Premier Division season. All teams playing today, as you can see in the table on the right-hand side. Hopefully we will be near the top of that by the end of play. So Thordeson crosses it and Lalo Balbi heads it away. So we're playing in the orange. Just so you know. So you do obviously normally play in the black and white. And Atlason has got the ball out wide. Good save from Molina. It's the first thing he's had to do for us in a competitive game. Our new goalkeeper, new man between the sticks. As Finn Bogerson was caught offside there. So no chances yet. Oh, we've got a throw in. Ljubicic gives it to Bergerson, saved by Olafsson. I think IBV have taken the lead because they're now top of the table. Bod Vincent with the corner, crosses it in. It's headed away. Finn Bogerson picking it up now, though. And down the right hand side, he crosses it. That <laughs> was on target. Did that go down as a shot? I think it did. I oh, know it didn't because we had that shot before. So, Olafsson with a throw. Ljubicic. Haldorsen. Finn Bogerson. Play it through. Bald Vinson. 1 0. How cool, Bald Vinson. Brilliant stuff. That's what we wanted to see. That puts us in a provisional second place after this first game of the season. Obviously, a lot of time left to play, so we don't want to count our chickens just yet. That's a great start, though. Molina with a goal kick. Headed away by Bjornesson. It's Bald Vinson just keeps it in. Hal Dawson. Come on. Toth in the middle. Well done. Bergerson. Looking for Finn Bogerson, but that's cleared by Leosen. Camacho picks it up, though. Centre back. Gives it to Olafsson. Bergerson. Back to Olafsson. Hal Dawson. Toth's in space now. Forward to Finn Bogerson, who plays it through to Ljubicic. Ljubicic shoots, saved, and Bald Vincent was nearly there, but it was cleared by the defence. It looks as though Finn Bogerson is really coming into this complete forward role that I've got him playing in. He seems to be doing a lot of, a lot of assists as well as scoring. And obviously, Bald Vincent playing as the inside forward. He's, he's grabbing a few goals. There's Bald Vincent. Finn Bogerson now shoots, and that's just wide. Good link and play between the two of them. It could be our two star men this season. It's Olafsson on the left. Forward ball, brilliant forward ball. Ljubicic gives it through to Finn Bogerson. Keeper just came out to stop Finn Bogerson from getting his foot on that one. Toth, Hal Dawson, a great ball out wide to Lalo Balbi, who fails to get a good cross in, and it's cleared. Buznikic has got the ball. He's tackled. I think this is going to peter out, and it has with Peterson, ironically. So there's three teams in the lead currently. Keflavik, IBV and KR. Beating IA, Valur and HK respectively. And Vikingur have just taken the lead with Ivor Owen Johnson, the right back. I remember him. It's half time though and we're winning 1-0. Good stuff. Halderson, a bit concerned about his fitness actually. Hmm... That'll be a thing because I was trying to get all the players used to, like my main starting eleven used to playing together. And as uh, Hilmarsson, Alex Frey Hilmarsson has picked up an injury and he's going to be out for a good two months. The the guys that are coming in to, well, the guy that's coming in to replace him, Hal Dawson, hasn't got the best fitness because he hasn't had a chance to build it up, which is probably a, an, an oversight in my, probably my fault, really. Um, but there's nothing to worry about. We can move Bald Vincent into attacking centre mid and then we can bring Anderson. We did score on one of the friendlies, I think it was. Atli Hraffenhan. Anderson can't even speak. So he he's coming on for Hal Dawson. Uh the players are playing quite well. Duff maybe want to watch six point four rating, not the best. But we'll leave it as that for the time being. Maybe have a look at it. Halfway through the second half. We kick off for the second half. Bald Vincent gives it to Finn Bogerson. Toth. I wonder if they'll work better or just as well. Or if they'll, they'll not be as good, Bald Vincent and Finn Bogerson. Because they were working quite well together in the first half. 
Don't really want to disrupt that. Olafsson with the throw. Gives it to Baldvinson. Back to Olafsson. In the centre, the Toth. Plays it to Anderson. Through to Finn Bogerson, who was offside. Clearly offside. That's something he needs to work on. He does get quite a few offsides in a game. So Fjolny have taken the lead against FH as well. So there's only one game at a draw currently. Toth's got a free kick for us. Gives it to Duff. Plays it out to Lalo Balbi. Baldvinson now. Bergeson. Great pass to Olafsson in some space. Crosses it in. Headed clear, but Baldvinson's there and he shoots. And that's a good save from their goalkeeper, Olafsson. We are creating a lot more opportunities than IA, but my only concern is that we're not going to be able to hold on the lead. We, that has been a, an issue for us in the past. Finn Bogerson, a wide to Olafsson. A second goal would be brilliant for us, obviously. And that's balls came to Ljubicic, who shoots, and that's just wide. Defensive clearance fell to his foot. And it's a corner now for IA. Buzhnik is just wide. I think I'm going to do a team talk. I meant to pause that as one of their players has just got injured. And Kevlovic have gone 3-0 up. Interesting. So it's passionately time to tighten up. Bojan Ljubicic is looking a bit nervous. I'll we'll just let that team talk go through and then I'll have a look at the, the squad, see if we need to make any changes to them. See how the condition and the match rating and everything is. Nope, didn't want to click on instructions. There we go, advanced tactics. Okay. And conditioning's all pretty good, actually. And Ljubicic had said was feeling nervous, so he's a possible a possibility to come off. But Thalacious, who I'm training to be a attacker midfield, right, he hasn't actually learned enough of that so far. So my only options are striker, centre midfield, defence. Do I need to make any changes? I don't really think I do at the moment. Lionel Camacho maybe later on, but no. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay. So the match is back underway. After my pausing. And they are coming into it now, which is, again, worrying. Buzhnikic to have Steinson. Shoot, saved by Molina, cleared by Olafsson. Anderson comes away with it now. It's a corner for us, Baldvinson whips it in. Bergeson, oh, just over the bar. It was a good opportunity. It's our 12th shot of the game. We've only had five on target. We definitely need to improve our shooting. It's almost into the final 10 minutes now. Can we hold on? Lalo Balbi in their half. This is good. Toth gives it to Bergeson. Looking for Ljubicic. Ljubicic has got it out wide left. Can he cross it? He plays it back to Olafsson, who crosses it in. Finn Bogerson is that 2-0? Is he onside? I think he is. He is. He's onside. That's 2-0. And that should be the victory wrapped up. First league game of the season. And we're winning 2-0. Brilliant stuff. Come on, into stoppage time. Stranger things have happened, but I can't see us giving away a two-goal lead with two minutes left. Duff picks that up. We've got 20 seconds left. Balbi. Forward to Baldvinson. Just need to take it slow, lads. Finn Bogerson. And he had to foul. Well won, Finn Bogerson. That should be it. Is the referee going to let us kick this, or is he going to blow his whistle? It's Lalo Balbi with a free kick, and it's full time before he even takes it. 2-0 victory on the first day of the season. Couldn't have wished for a better start than that. Extremely delighted with that. Especially given it was a, a derby match as well. So there you go, you can see by the stats we deserved that one. 15 shots, 6 on target, 56% possession. Finn Bogerson, man of the match as well. 5 key passes, 
he made that first goal as well, didn't he? The bald Vincent. He looks like he's coming into his own in that complete forward role. I'm really pleased with that. So after that victory, that leaves us third in the table after one round of matches. So you can see Arsenal have sacked their manager, Martino, in the news items there. I don't know who he was, actually. I haven't been keeping up with the... The, the managerial changes or anything. I know that Tottenham were top of the Premier League for some time. It'll be nearly the end of their season, actually. Um, so that is it for this episode. And next time we will do... Hmm, probably come back around June sometimes. I might, sometime, I imagine the... Um, I can't actually remember when the Icelandic Cup is, but I think the Icelandic Cup should be around there. We went on the 29th of May. So probably come back for the Icelandic Cup sometime around then. Or we'll see where we are in the league. But we'll be we'll play a few games offline and then we'll come back. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Feel free to comment below. And subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.